The Indiana State men's basketball team had a confidence and swagger last night that carried them to a win over 15th ranked Butler. The Sycamores get a lot of that from Brenton Scott. No one on the Indiana State men's basketball team has the competitive drive like guard Brenton Scott. He doesn't care. I mean, he is so competitive. He, he just thinks he can beat you. I was even worse as a third grader because, okay. you know, I would get in fights and, you know, with my brothers and, you know, because we always play one on one. And, you know, it's just, it was always with me, you know, ever, ever since I was born and uh, just carried with me ever, ever, uh, till now. And, uh, you know, it's an attribute that I love that I have. I just got to continue to just, you know, control it. ISU head coach Greg Lansing admits he's coached a lot of players, but few with the personality like Britton. He's hard headed. I just try to let him motivate me and I, I just let him coach me. Um, you know, I just don't, I don't take it personally. I just, I know he wants the best for me. The best Britton Scott is a good thing for Sycamore basketball. The junior's gotten better every year in Terre Haute to the point now where he's tops on the team in scoring and second in the Missouri Valley Conference at 19.8 per game. He thinks he can get a basket, doesn't matter who's guarding him. Every great scorer has a sense of selfishness to him because they just know they're good and they can get baskets. Scott has shown what he can do on the court. Now his focus is proving what he can do to make the Sycamores a better overall team. You know, I just want to show everybody, you know, how good of a player I am and that I can, you know, <laughs> help a team win, you know, because the past two seasons, you know, we haven't had the best seasons and we weren't winning. So, you know, now that I'm stepping into more of a leadership role and, uh, you know, I just want to prove to everybody that, you know, we can win with me being a leader. Britton Scott and the Sycamores will put their season high three game winning streak on the line Sunday when they return back to action at home against Western Kentucky. That is